the timing perfectly, gets the position, claims the high ground. Now he can rain down fire on the remaining players. This is what it comes down to. Cloud9 just working away. And oh, what sweater goes down? That's a big shot with the SKS coming through. And the blue, it's not going to favor them. They don't have helmets either. Oh my god, they're pretty exposed here. This could still go the other way. Let's see how this one plays out. We'll take it down for a second. Two players still remaining at the bottom of the hill, but as you mentioned, they managed to take Noble out. Get rid of them. They can't get the gear, though, as you mentioned. Oh. No helmets on the other so side, So there's too. only one player, I think, with a helmet, and is that, is that going to be Scoom? No, oh, Scoom's gone. It's a 2v2. It went early wrong, We're didn't it? down to a 2v2 here. We've got the Cloud9 boys on the high ground, but they've got bodies littered everywhere, so they can pick up some loot. On the other side, I think that's Whitaker, I'm going to call him, what, WTCNN? Uh, with his teammates still alive, bear in mind. So, and the circle's in their favor. They are standing here right now. He should win this unless nades or something else force him out. He knows where they are. Extended bullets on as well. He's got it all. And well, Cloud9, if there's any time to prove what you're made of, it is in with this moment. Eight seconds remain on the circle. They have to move. They have to go. And they know it. They're baiting out the shots. They're praying someone peeks. Sweater's being the bait. He's just praying someone shoot at me. Please take me down. Let my teammate trade it. And he can't. Great off posi after positioning here coming in. And now it's just the 1v2. This gets a bit scary. Goes for the kill, and there you have it. Mithrin seals the dinner. Winner, winner, we have it. Six, Six kills, kills as well. That's awesome. That's a good one for that. Adds a lot more points on top of the points they've actually got for the win also. Incredible, incredible stuff. They stood the ground. You watched before. We saw it with Noble. We saw it with Cloud9. They had the rock advantage. They had the hand. Yeah. But as soon as that circle moves, we then see the guys at the bottom who can just say, OK, boys, you have to make your way to us. You have to come to us. We'll sit here. We'll let them bring the fight to us. And there you have it. They bag the first win. They take first blood in day two, which, of course, is our duos tournament. Yeah, that's Bosphorus, the team won. So Mithran and WTCNN picking up the kills there. And just great positioning, if I'm completely honest. They played that very smart. The circle helped them out, but they split themselves up enough that neither player could be taken down without the other being able to trade it. You could see the approach coming in from the opponents. They were going to try and bait out one player, allow the one who is still on the rocks to take the shots and open up opportunities. It didn't work out. Good positioning, good play. And they played for kills as well, which I really like to see. They weren't quiet on that front. You can see for their team, they have 44 points from kills, which is some of the highest there is. So they did very well in this. 544 after game one. Yes, indeed. C9 below them, 392. Noble, 302. Liquid, 302. And, and shout out to Scoom for surviving so long. You saw Norman. He went down probably mid to early game. Still bagging 302 points between them. Champion Solid FPS in fifth. And then as we work our way down 6th, 7th and 8th, everyone still, I mean, it was all about that rock fight, right? Yep. You locked at the top, it all kind of came down, three teams fighting for battle to make sure they controlled the, what they thought was the final circle. And the circle just says, nope, we're going to switch things <laughs> up a bit, we're going to take it down to the bottom, we're yep. going to have to make you work for your dinner. Hey, the guys at the bottom, again, still with no helmets, but being so aggressive, sticking out and... Well, there was nowhere else to go but down the hill. No. Uh, so I think that's enough from us for now. I think we're going to take a second to kind of review everything ourselves here. But let's find out how that felt on the floor there over with Mithrain and the guys for the interview. Yes, I am here with Mithrain and WTC from Team Bosphorus all the way from Turkey. How are you guys feeling? Um, I'm, I'm so happy. I'm so happy to win the first game. I can see you guys are hugging right after you guys got the first place prize. Um, how was that game for you? Did it work out like in your favor how you expected, or did you really have to fight against the game to, to win? We played uh, very simple, actually, and we did the right things every time, every time. We did the right positioning, right peak, every time was right, this game. So you don't think RNG, luck, none of that had anything to do with your victory? In this game, yes. This time. Oh, it did? Yeah. A little bit? A little bit. Like the final circle, yeah. a little bit? Because we were a little close to the circle. Uh, Safe zone, you know. You know. Circle helped us a lot. A lot of help us, circle. And uh, yeah. we got good positioning, always. Uh, and we got US. US, uh, US is so, so much help to us. We use our car uh, as a cover, so yeah. help a lot, yeah. So yeah, there's no way around it. This game does have an element of randomness. 
Um, but that's why we're doing three matches. This is only the first one, and you got yourself a fair number of points, not just with the victory, but also with um, the total of 11 kills between the two of you. How likely do you think you're going to be able to replicate this outcome in the next two games? Um, that was our plan, actually, and we did it good, and we will try again. The same thing. Do you think you're going to get number one again? I hope so. But do you think so? Yes. Yes. All right, I like it. Uh, I'm gonna, that's enough for us here right now. We're going to send it back to break, actually, while we get ready for the game number two in third-person duos here at Gamescom 2017.